told you that for you to engage in poultry business, you require land and houses. That is not necessarily true. There are a variety of poultry businesses that one can engage in that do not involve land or houses. The first one, you could decide to involve in chicks. You find the chicks and you supply them to the farmers. All the farmers that are engaged in poultry production require chicks. So when you find chicks and you supply to them, that is a very good business venture. So you can get these chicks from the hatcheries, you can get them from parent stock farmers, or you can even get them from importing, you can import them from other suppliers out of your country. Either way, when you provide chicks to the farmers, you cannot go wrong. The next one, you can think of supplying ready birds, the broilers or the off layers. In this way, you get the birds from the farmers and then you take them to the market and you sell live birds. Majority of the farmers produce these birds, but they are lazy or they even don't want to go to the market. So when you provide that market for them, then you are doing business for yourself. Another one, you can think of selling eggs. You get the eggs from the farmers and you sell them, take them to the markets, the supermarkets, hospitals, schools, hotels, wherever you want to take them. Or even you can even have a store, an egg store. You can have an egg store and you farmers find you there or whoever wants eggs can find you there and take the eggs from you. Either way, you're making money. You can think of training. If you have knowledge in animal production, you can train the very many people out there who want to engage in poultry production, the technicalities of raising chickens and making profits out of this chicken. So the art of training does not need land or houses. The fact that you have that knowledge is capital enough for you to begin earning. So engage yourself in training, farmers or any other people who, are in, who would wish to join poultry production. You could have drug shop. You can own a drug shop in case you are a vet or an animal production expert. Or if you have animal production knowledge, you can have a drug shop and you sell drugs to the farmers. Farmers will need these drugs, they will need vaccines, they will need all those healthcare vitamins and they will need where to get them. So when you have a drug shop, you cannot go wrong. You could even have a shop that has um, equipment, feeders, drinkers, um, trays. Now for, for you to sell those things, you don't need to be a vet or have any animal production knowledge. All you need to have is a space and you put this equipment and people will definitely buy, even later. You can have coffee husks, wood shavings and you put them in that equipment shop. Another one you can engage in um, doing consultancies. You can develop business plans, you can solve pertinent problems for people who are having these poultry, these poultry uh, businesses. So you could do, you could do business plans, you could do solutions for them, whatever it is that they're having challenges, and then you make money out of it. Another one you could involve in transport. You have your vehicle, you go and ferry birds from the, from the farmer to the market or eggs from wherever they are going to the destination. Because people who engage in these businesses, sometimes they do not have the vehicles. So if you have a vehicle, you could just engage in transporting poultry products. Still, you would make money. Or you can even do feeds. Feeds. Chickens need, chickens need to eat. So if you have knowledge in feed formulation, you can formulate feeds, broiler starter, finisher, layers mash, and then you give to the farmer. You still cannot go wrong. Or if you don't have knowledge in feed formulation, you can sell the individual ingredients, either maize bran, maize, soya, even feed concentrates actually. You know like the feed concentrate is a new, is a booming business here in Uganda nowadays. So you can even engage in selling feed concentrates. You don't even need to know the formulas. If you have knowledge in ICT, you can develop apps. We need apps that are localized to the environment and so we, you know, you put it, people need to know where to find the market, people need to know where to find the vets, the drug shops, the feeds, the other input dealers. So if you can help get an app and you put all that information, you can still do business along the poultry value chain. And finally, 
we could talk about processing these broiler birds. You buy the live birds and you slaughter them. You remove the feathers and the intestinal contents and you make well-prepared whole birds or you can chop them into pieces, you can eat drumsticks, thighs, breasts and you sell to supermarkets, hotels or even these roadside vendors that roast chicken on the roadside. And that is just another business venture. I want to thank you very much for listening and please don't forget to subscribe.